Breaker Broke 23. So in this video, we're going to do another unboxing. I'm going to unbox the Shit Model Modi 3. And um, this is kind of a cool piece. This is a DAC, and I'm really excited to get into this. Um, I Oh boy, so generally when I buy something, I research the crap out of it, and I did not do that with this. I mean, I researched as far as like what it did, what the specs were, yada, 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 but I didn't like look at the size, the dimensions, or anything like that. I thought, nah, it's a piece of home audio gear, so the postman brings this thing up, and it's like this little box, right? I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. So yeah, it's a little smaller than I expected it to be, but that being said... This is in black. Um, I think the ones on Amazon are in silver, and I didn't see a um, option to order it in black. But I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to put this in my Honda stereo system. I'm going to use. I'm going to get a lot of use out of out of this. Actually, I'm going to use it in my home stereo system. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to throw this in my high-end car system that I'm doing on the Honda. I want you guys to stay tuned for that, will you, please? Um, let's see. So. One thing I think is really cool about this, this is all made in um, California, so U.S.-based company. Uh, apparently the cabinet comes out of Cali, um, even the transformer for it. I do understand, though, that the um, wall wart is a China-sourced product, but that's okay. I mean, I'd rather see it. Wow, that is cool. Very easy switch to flip. Although I'm feeling like right now, like with my big fat fingers, it's actually too easy to flip. But anyway, that's kind of cool. I am going to tear this down after, when I do my review, so stay tuned. So here is, um, okay, so I don't have a manual and the markings are kind of weird on here. I'm going to assume this was my wall adapter input. Then we have an input from my, like say a laptop or a cell phone. And I could be bass backwards on that. Um, this is the optical toss link input, coaxial, and then analog output. Man, that thing is small. That is going to go in the Honda like butter. So let's compare it to something. Um, let's compare it to the B1. This is actually going to be my test combo. This is why I'm doing it. I dig this B1, and I like the Blue Dento a lot. My two favorite Bluetooth units to date. These are just fabulous. And I'm dying to use the optical out on this and go into the shit model three. So let's see if the YouTube, al YouTube algorithm picks that up. Um, but that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we have in here. Um, a very nice quality USB. Holy Toledo window box. That's a nice connector. All right. What else do we have? What? Really? You know, I wonder where my Samsung AC adapter went. Okay, that's interesting. Any other cords or surprises in here? No, that's it. Empty box. Okay, well, I thought I was going to get a toss link, but that's okay. Cool. All right. AC adapter. Kind of a gnarly, that's, wow, that's a nice feeling USB. Let me see here. Now, oh, finish the job. Finish the job, Dove. All right. Dude, that's an, that feels pretty nice. Okay. Wow, nice USB. It's even marked, too. What is that, Belden? USB shielded, high-speed cable. Revision something. And... I don't know what brand that is. I need my spectacles, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> it feels like Belden or something. If Belden made them, that's, that's what it would feel like, I think. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um... There's the destructions. Boy, they're just down to the point, huh? Um, okay. So on the back here, like I said, analog RCA outs, 
coaxial digital input, optical input, this is USB data input, and lucky number five, oh yeah, look, it's got the um, two-prong power adapter uh, logo on there. So power in, USB in, optical in, coaxial, analog out. Shit, Mod E3. Very cool. Can't wait. I'm going to run this for about a week or two, and uh, then I'll do a review on it. All right, guys, thanks for watching.